Hello everybody, my name is AS and welcome back to Let's Play Europe Peter's House 4 as Denmark. Let's basically continue on from where we left off. So we should be able to join the Protestant League very soon, as soon as, you know, the war's over. Apparently people I think are down in a... Who even is that? I don't know who's declaring war on each other, but people are declaring war on each other apparently. There's gotta be someone I can see though. I don't think it's over here, but it could be. Then again, I don't, I don't really care, so I don't know why I'm over here. So, I want to attack Sweden. I think that's kind of obvious, and I've been talking about it for like the last two or three episodes, that we need to attack Sweden. And Sweden's right now is under, you know, they're, they're, they're against a lot of, a lot of folks that kind of want to see them dead. Austria, do you want military access? I would so give you military access. Why not? You have to give me a complete strategic interest in here. How else are you going to get over up here in Sweden? Huh? How, how else are you going to do it? How many troops does the Commonwealth have? Because it's the Commonwealth have like a ton of troops. Like, I think I just got a little pop up there, but I can't tell. Uh, I was just saying I have claims on stuff. I know I have claims on stuff, game. If you go down to the Commonwealth, though, they have 42,000. That's way more than Sweden has right now. Like, who has the biggest army? I think it's still. Oh, it's actually Russia now. New Spain has 100,000 troops. New Spain has more troops than Spain. Which is crazy to me. Basically, Mexico. Mexico's a bigger military power. This Mexico's the third biggest military power in the, in the world right now. Which is kind of crazy. Also, Aragon actually did get its independence, so... That's something. It's not even it's not Aragon, it's Catalonia. Which I don't really know what the difference is. Other than one... They're both kingdoms. They're both, um... I just don't know what the difference between Aragon and this one is. Maybe someone can explain it to me. But it's not like they actually didn't get these islands over here. Well, they did. But um, they just don't have like, the cores on it. So maybe, maybe they'll fight for that. Who knows? Uh, 2.5 Mercantilism is actually really good, so we're going to take that one. It sucks my prestige is just, it's just so low right now, though. Minus 2.5. Or minus 0.25 is pretty, you know, not great. Like, we need more prestige. Also, I still want to know what happened to my forest limit. Like, why is it... Why did it decrease so much? Oh, who died? Oh, my one stick side. Of course he died. Of course that one died. That's the one I needed. A zero three. Well, okay, my son's not a good heir. Or, he's a good heir. He's a better king than I am, but he's not a better military leader than I am. He's, he's better at sieging stuff, so having a siege general is actually kind of nice, but... So who's, who's sending troops down here? The king is actually basically vacationing over here in St. Lucia. With uh, these 3,000 men. As soon as this uh, thing finishes, I might just go down here to St. Vincent. Let's colonize this one right next door and just move our troops over there, and that just makes it, you know, a little bit easier. But I also kind of still want to finish this colony up here, and it's going to take a long time for that to finish. Like, what, they had, yeah, 60, 60 a month. It's gonna take, like, 10 years. Assuming, once again, like, nothing bad happens over there. So. Oh, there's a war. What is this? What is this a war over? Defend of the Catholic faith. Oh, they they want to join in the Protestant League War. Brunswick. Brunswick, even the leader of the... There's nobody on the, in the Protestant League right now. Like, not a... Where are you, Brunswick? Look at what you're fighting, Brunswick. Look, look at this. You think... No. I don't care if I go negative prestige. I don't... I don't care. I'm not... I'm not... I'm not fighting that. Okay? That's a lot of things. That's a lot of people. That I would have to, you know, attack and... Well, to be honest. I don't have to... I don't have to be on truth for that. So, sorry. I'm actually... Oh. oh. I'm almost in the top. Whatever number this, amount, this list is. I am higher than Sweden. Sweden does have less troops than I do. Is the Hansa still at war? The Hansa is yeah, basically completely occupied by... Austria. Everyone's voting for Austria too. Even Brandenburg's voting for Austria. They usually vote for themselves. So I'm kind of surprised by that. Even though I think... Brandenburg 
Oh no, they're not. They're not in this league. I thought they might have been. Okay, disputes against Bremen. That's neat, I guess. Apparently, uh, the Neas rose up. That sucks. I mean, it doesn't really suck. I mean, it costs a little bit of money because we have to reinforce that army, but... How much are we spending to reinforce? Probably nothing now because um, they, I assume they all have fully reinforced. 0.29. We need 80 men. No, we need 53 men. No, we need 80. We're, we're only reinforcing with 53 men a month. That's really, really low. Why is it so low? Also, we're very soon not going to be paying Sweden. Half, uh, you know, a few more months from now, we're not going to be giving any ducks to Sweden, which is really nice. Our colony is self-sustaining, that's good. But where do we send this colonist? Do we go up here to maybe get a colonial nation? I'm going to probably send him there. Where's those 2,000 men? I'm going to send up here to Baelthak. Because they need to defend it. We have one colony down here. So it's 75% autonomy, which is actually well, quite a bit. I think that's because it's a colony. It, it, it just, it's a straight 25, and it won't go any lower. Oh, it's the maximum and minimum 75. So apparently it just can't change, so that's something. The Netherlands is kind of like all over. But you know, like, I mean, Spain is basically all over, but... Is, is that actually enough provinces to make colonial nation? It is. That's actually surprising. That just Florida, basically, is enough to uh, make a colonial nation out of. Which is nice. It's kind of cool to see that, but... Because I think before, like, Florida was like one or two provinces, so... It wants me to get this idea group, and I don't want to get this idea. Minus 10%, but then again, that plus one land fighter afterwards. Oh, but like next next month, I get these next delivery del del infantry, so it makes sense. I should probably just get this one. Whenever, uh, you know, whenever the month takes over, because my computer's so slow, this is speed four. Right, it will. Yeah, we should definitely get that. Yep, let's get that. And then we get the new unit types. So what do we want? Do we want more fire or do we want more uh, defense? Um, or do we want more offensive or do we want more defensive pips? Like offensive means that we do more damage. Defense means we take less damage. The Highlander's infantry seems really good. That four offensive morale. So we will, yeah, well, I think we'll go with the Highlander because I think it will really decrease the morale of the Swedish troops when we attack them. So who's over here? Kirtland. Nobody's up here. Are they not fighting each other? It doesn't seem like they've actually fought a single battle with each other yet. And that sucks. I want them to fight as many battles with each other as, you know, humanly possible. Where is... Where even is Sweden? On this list, I'll find them. Oh, okay. This is not totally the right way I want it to. We want it sort of this way. Where S is wherever. Is this, is this upside down? It was. Sweden, Sweden, Sweden. Zero. No, that's Sulu. There are 27,000. I don't think they fought a single battle yet, so... That kind of sucks for me. Because they got their troops now. Just remember ships, I, I don't want you to sink. You have 72% strength. When you go up there, don't die. Basically, yeah, they're taking attrition. Some of the men on the boats, but that's not surprising. I think you just automatically take, like, a flat, um, a flat attrition when you're on boats. But I might be wrong there. I probably am, too, so. These things gotta be so... I need, I need more prestige. Like, that's not even really a question. Like, nobody's in the Protestant League anymore. I think the first Protestant League war ended, and that's why there's way less people in it than before. Now there's like a second one, the second war of the Protestant League. But I'm not 100% too sure. Okay, these boats, just land in port and repair, please. I don't want you to die. Getting 20 ducats, yeah, because we're not paying Sweden. 
Which is good, because that means they're making less money, and that means that if they have to go where the force limit, it's going to cost them more. Embargo in Netherlands. Why am I not embargoing Sweden? Like, mean, that's what the truce is not over. I should be embargoing Austria, though, because our truce is over. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they are my rival. So I should be getting more power projection. It's only going to go up to, like, one point, yeah. I mean, one point better than zero points, though, so... That's something. Also, long-time rival penalty being cut in half, kind of, or bonus getting cut in half kind of sucks, but... It, it was nice when, um... It, it was nice when it was plus, third, or plus 10 for each rival instead of plus 5, which they changed. Is that a 3-star? Did I just see a 3-star three three uh, Swedish general? I think I just did. Why is there no army on this? On this? Why do you have no army? Oh, because you were the... Uh... No, what's on the king to you? That's because... um. There's no, there's no general because the one, the one six died. Okay. The Spanish are here. That's good. It's good. It's good to see that the Spanish are here. Are they sieging this too? No! Tunis is uh, sieging them. Who's over here? Algeria is sieging those guys. Well, at least the uh, these guys down here, at least you know, at least they know how to get something done. I wouldn't be surprised if you know, like they they all died very soon, but okay, three years or something. I hate this. This truce is so like it. I mean, it makes sense. We had such a long truce timer, but. It's painful to have to wait here for so long for these uh, truces to finish. And there's like no one else I can attack because there's like everyone else is in the Holy Roman Empire. I can attack Ireland, but that's not going to help me at all. And I can't really do anything here. I could attack France can or French Canada or Newfoundland, but Newfoundland doesn't even own Newfoundland, so I don't know what their, their country is. This is a lie. And I don't think I want to attack them. I could take over like their entire nation probably and just feed them into them or. I guess there's uh, no colonial nation. If I got two more colonies here and I just annex Newfoundland, I can just feed my colonial nation, but I can't do that. So that kind of sucks. We can attack Cato. We can attack the Creek. We can just attack inland. We can just go take over this guy for no reason. But that doesn't sound like it's probably too great of an idea. That Chinook? We can go attack Chinook. Look at our flag. It's got like a fish on it. We can attack them. We can go attack Ragusa or um, Montenegro. Nobody ever seems to. Why, I'm surprised these places even still exist. Vassal of the Ottomans. Okay, they're not going to exist very soon. Are these guys both still vassals? They're vassals. Are you also a vassal? The Ottomans have a lot of vassals. Is this what I'm getting out of this? They have they have way too many vassals. They're just going to be like most of Eastern Euro Europe is going to be the Ottomans very soon, probably. If someone doesn't go and attack them. You hire a free military general. That might as well, right? A 1-3. Uh, you're slightly better than our son. So that's that's good. It's not really that. I mean, you don't have as much siege value, but you do have fire value, which I guess might be more important in battle. So I don't think siege value does anything in battle. I might be wrong, but I don't think I am. So... Why does France have like, no soldiers? Why don't they only have 30? Oh no, they have 28. But that's still only like 50, 60,000. Is that all France has? I'd be surprised if that's all France has. France has 66. Wow. They have way less men than I thought they would. Enact them. Lose one stability, one inflation. They'll lose an inflation. Which will get us down to zero. You know, let's just gain three, because it already goes down by what? 0.08? Okay, that's not a lot. Per year. But it'll go it'll go down on its own. I don't need to spend points to lower it. I could, but... I don't think it's really worth it, to be honest. So... I should probably unpause it. Warm Scandinavia? What's this one? Mintech level 10. Oh yeah, that's just more tolerance of heretics. But... Like, what's our tolerance now? It's zero. Which is fine. I mean, it's good. I mean, we don't attack any Catholic nations. 
or Reformed, or Orthodox, or Coptic. We can go attack Ethiopia, assuming it still exists. It doesn't. Or Sangali exists. I don't know, Ethiopia's right there. We can go attack them, I'm pretty sure they're Coptic. Yeah, we won't get any penalty for attacking them. Oh, what's that? 20,000 Swedish peasants. That's a lot of Swedish peasants. So is it, are there, is it a war? Wow, that is a... God, that war is so big. The Commonwealth is still doing their thing. Don't attack the Swedish peasants. Let the Swedish peasants do their thing, Poland. Like, don't, don't help them out. The last thing they need is someone helping them out. Like, let's be honest here. You know, Zoom, we're already, like, way over our force limit, so, like, who cares? Well, let's just build, um, one cannon, two infantry here. Like, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll, it just, we're already way over our force limit, so. And we're making enough money that we can go over our force limit and probably not have to worry too much about it. So. I mean, we're not, yeah, we're not losing any money now, or we're way above it, so. Are these more... There are more troops. One, uh, one stack. That's really, that's really powerful, Sweden, or Spain. That's gonna, that's definitely gonna change the war. No, no, select these troops. Yeah, you just go here. Spain is Zealand. You know, that's an new idea. Diplomatic reputation? Eh. I think, yeah, I want to get this, uh... 18 Diplotech first. I think that'd be slightly better. Oh, he has some rebels. Uh, I've risen up. Oh, that's good. But I do think this might be a good time to end the episode. So thanks for watching my video. If you have enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying, you can always thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.